Hello guys, I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of the Nerf Ballistic Chronograph that I have been working on. It utilizes two active IR sensors as shown here, allowing it to work even in pitch darkness. The microcontroller inside records the time whenever an IR sensor detects an object, and from this information we can calculate the velocity. We can demonstrate this simply just by running our hand next to it, and we'll see that because I was moving very slowly, it thinks that it was essentially 0 FPS. The measurements are shown on this OLED display that is here, and included is also the telemetry from the photo gates, so we can actually actively see if a gate is being triggered. So here I'm triggering gate 1 with my hand, and obviously gate 2 is the same. For convenience of use, I've also included the ability to rotate the display, which is triggered manually by blocking the second detector for at least one second like so. This allows us to place the detector vertically and makes it easier for testing. The chronograph is also capable of counting the number of shots that have been fired so far as well as calculating the average velocity of all of the shots. It can be powered off of either the mini B USB port in the back here or by an internal battery, which can either be a 9 volt or a 2 to 3S LiPo cell. Now let's take a look at the internal electronics. With the top of the unit off, we see that the electronics here are actually very simple. On the top left here is an Arduino Nano, which is the microcontroller that we use in order to do all of our calculations and handle the processing. The two other components involved are the two IR detectors placed here and here. The IR detectors have their own indicator LED which shows if an object is placed in front of them. So with my hand I am able to trigger this LED and the same goes for this other one. The entire unit currently is powered off of a single 1000 milliamp hour 2S LiPo which will last it far in excess of a month in terms of operation time. Mechanically, each of the IR detectors sits inside its own slot inside the case and is held in place by an M3 screw. The OLED display simply sits inside a special slot made for it and is held in place once the cover is installed. The power switch is a simple toggle switch and is held in place by the hex nut. And the main circuit board is held in place in all four corners by four M2 screws.